Hi, welcome to this brand new installation of March edition of Arc Linux. Topic of the video is this and this, and that's not normal. Maybe you recognize these icons, and if we go to the applications, you might say, oh yeah, I do recognize those icons, but they normally do not come with this kind of folder. It's not the Arc folders that it has normally. So what I've created and uh, we'll go and have a look how I did it. How did I create this particular icon theme? And that's because there was a question online because, oh sorry, there are already so many uh, tutorials on Eric Dubois.be. Uh, You'll see that there are lots of articles about the Sardi modularity and Sardi flexibility. And that's the point of the video, again, to tell you guys, you can make your own icon theme, whatever you like, you can mix icon themes together. And that was the question of the user. Can you explain me, please, how to mix icon themes together? So first, there are lots of videos already on ericdubois.be. And secondly, here's another one. So what did we do? We created a new theme called Papyrus Arc. So Papyrus. Everybody knows the theme and this is the normal look. Nothing changed in the applications here. This is still the same thing, but what we changed is this part. So that's the point of the video and I want to empower you so that you know that you can make it yourself. And this is created just in your own home directory. It's not difficult. It's just called Papyrus Arc. You have a folder in it and there are stuff in there. That's simple. Okay, let's go and do it. So delete it. What do you start with? We're gonna make a papyrus arc theme. We go to the icons. User share icons is the pathway. You take out an icon theme that you say, I love it, right? And then you're gonna change it. So the papyrus is what we're building upon, or well, actually those are what I call the wagons. And the locomotion is actually starting with Sabdi Arc, which is the best idea. Why? Why not Arc? Arc has the same thing, places, and you'll see that 48, for instance, these folders are exactly the same as I have in Sabdi Arc. So I have already mixed elements together. I do that all the time. So the basics to, to the best basis to start with is set the arc and what you do is you're gonna copy it and you're gonna put it in your own home folder home eric dot icons if you don't have a dot icons make one create it we're gonna paste this and then well the idea was to make a papyrus arc so rename it to papyrus arc done now it's not yet finished of course not so if you select this icon theme, what are you gonna get? You're gonna get the places, this look, this folder system in your Tunar, File Manager, or Nemo, or Nautilus, and so on. That's what you're gonna get. But all the rest of the icons are not present. In the index theme, you need to say, in inherits, let's make this bigger. In inherits, you just have to say, look, if the icon is missing, never mind. Go and have a look in Papyrus. And Papyrus needs to be written correctly. If it's a big P, small P, whatever, it should be 100% correct. It's pointing to a folder. Okay. So Papyrus is correct. We've checked, double checked. And if the icon is not present in Papyrus, then it'll go look in Sardi. And if it's not there, it will go look in Numic Circle. That's the major point of this video. Inherits is your power line. That's where the power is coming from. So we start with Papyrus Arc. We are going to select this. It's gonna say, I just have uh, images or icons for places. That's it. Okay, no problem. Then go look for the rest for the applications. For instance, go to Papyrus. That's the most important part to remember. Basically, our work is already done. Can you imagine that? 
virus arc. Okay, index team, yes. But there's one thing, well, we need to be 100% correct, Eric. Papyrus arc, otherwise we'll don't see, we don't see the name in the selection. So that needs to be correct. That's correct. And this is done. Now, there's one thing more. To make it go fast on Linux systems, you have a kind of cache file and the icon theme cache is here and we can recreate it. There's a little application, we can make it executable, but it is not really an application. It's just for me to make it fast and easy because I always forget these things. What it says is GDK update icon cache minus F and it is going one level up and asking, hey, what's the name of the directory? So we can do it both ways. And that's the icon, the command for it. Of course, I'm gonna use my proper script. This is replaced, you can't, don't see anything, but it's replaced, it's um, new. Okay, time to see what we created. So this is our look now. Let's move this with super four to the right. This open box doesn't matter what desktop you're on, doesn't really matter at all. It's icons. And then we open control alt M. Appearance in open box rely on a pieces of XFCE. And here we have papyrus arc. Here it is. These folders are still okay. All the applications icons are still papyrus, but not the file system not the folders for places. And that's the point. That's how powerful the theming of icons can be and how much fun it can be to make it uh, your own icon theme. You can go further and further with this, of course. This is just one thing. You could go and say, okay, um, let's have a look at something. Um, pom -pom -pom. Let me take a look. Let's, let's take back to the Saturday ones. You can have a look. No, that's a bad idea. This one. These are all elements. If you like the mime types, for instance, I have an idea. I have a what if. I have a what if. That's going to be visual. Very visual indeed. What if you say, um, I'm going to work on this and control H and all these elements, um, files, they get a particular look and you like the files from a particular theme. So the, the if it's a docx, it's gonna be this, it's a text, it's gonna be that, it's gonna, it's an ISO, it has this color, etc., etc. So all these um, elements, and you like, for instance, something that I thought about is the breeze icon theme. It's gonna be really clear that it's different. Breeze, 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 breeze. Breeze, no, no. I don't have, maybe I don't have the breeze. It's possible. I haven't installed it. So I have still the Saturday breeze where I can get at, get it. So this one, the Saturday breeze, you have here the places, you see? You can have these, these kind of folders if you like and, and delete the places from uh, Arc and get those guys in. But here are the mime themes. That's quite different, right? If you say I want to have the, my MIME teams, Excel is, looks, looks like this, uh, Google Docs and Office Docs to look like that and different things. The only thing you need to do is actually get a MIME theme over to the other application, the other uh, icon theme. If you add here folders to it, then it all depends how it's organized, but this is organized first with the name places and then with numbers, numbers of this, this, the size of an icon, how big is this icon, right? Properties, how big is this icon? 16 by 16. That's why it's in the folder called 16. So the system knows what to do with it. So you can combine, I don't know if I have, don't really have a good idea that I say, I'm, I'm, I fancy this or I fancy that, but you can add elements from other uh, other themes, why not hello, for instance? So we have here places where they replace. We can just say whoop, drag, drop, and you have these guys over there. But it's not that simple. 
in the sense that you need to tell to the index team that um, you have here places 16, size 16, places and so on, fixed, etc. So you need to tell, give a sort of directory kind of catalog. There is a folder called 16 and it has elements. It has a folder 64 and it has elements. And that's how you tell it to him. We could do a status, for instance. That's a lot of work, a lot of typing. Um, we can do things. The apps, we like the apps from Papyrus, for instance. And no, don't touch the apps. We could use the devices. Don't particularly like the devices here. All black. Emblems. So all these elements that other icon themes have, you can actually say, okay, let's, let's take these MIME types thingies. So MIME types, control C, control V. So I, we're moving MIME types inside here. I'm gonna delete the symbolic to make the exercise a little bit easier. So we only have one thing to do, that's good, less work. So if we have added MIME types to it, index team, so you need to tell to the system, look, there is a new folder. And just copy paste a crude, control C. It was MIME types. It was scalable, I think it was. Size, is that scalable? I have to check it out. And then MIME types with capital, I think, and type is scalable. So now I need to figure out what was the size again. Is it written as, as scalable or what was it again? So if you're stuck, you go to icon themes and go read. I've uh, had no tutor at all. I just read these kind of things. So all the way down, scalable size works like this, you see? So I'm gonna call copy paste or better copy paste the MIME types. Gonna take this guy, control C. I think this is the one. So all my work is for not scalable, but it's the other way around, my friends. I think it is. It's uh, in here. First MIME types, then scalable, and then we have everything. So first MIME types, then scalable. That's a directory structure you need to follow, scalable. And then the rest is okay. So minimum size, well, size 16, minimum size 16, maximum size 512, MIME type scalable. Not sure if it is, I don't know the size. Let's have a look. What is his minimal size? 64 by 64, but it won't, be, it won't matter, I think. So let's give it a try. So, rethinking everything. There's one thing I forgot. If you say down here, you have something. You have to say it up here as well. You have to say, look, there is a folder called places 128, but there is also a folder MIME types with scalable. Okay, save. Now we're good. We're gonna create our new icon theme cache. Ooh, I do see things changing, I thought. Let's have a look. These elements are not were not there a few minutes ago, correct? Mm. Oh, sorry. All right. This is our new setup, actually not that bad with a combination of these elements. Everything looks completely different. These, this is how the conky looks, the configs. I don't know, what can we look at? Uh, first a little bit red. <laughs> how to start is looking like this. Catfish is looking like that, etc., etc., etc. So yeah, we have now a new icon theme and we've just created ourselves. So this is how you do it. You mix elements, you start with 
adding elements from other um, icon themes, but you need to keep in mind to update the icon theme cache, make sure that icon theme is correct in different places up here to start. Super strong power is in heritage line, but if you have, if you put new folders inside, this is the line, the directory list is the line you need to edit. And then of course, somewhere down here as well, learn from the others, copy paste from the others. Here's the code, just read code, see, oh yeah, that's how to do it. And voila, you have your own icon theme. Enjoy it.